Okay. So. Oh, oh, hey. Something actually bounced into that cup for once. So cool. Bounced right out. Dang. Um, anyway. So, hi. Um, I'm Bug. I am usually on here playing Caves of Cud or something, or doing art, but uh, art in terms of making comics, because I make web comics, which you can see at these links. Um, but today, uh, for now, I am going to work on um, doing some art fight attacks. Um, just because... I don't know. I feel like doing something different. Um, so if you are doing art fight, let me copy my uh, profile address and put it in the chat so you can uh, see my stuff and uh, potentially attack me as well. Anyway, so there's that. Um, other than that, I'm just going to be drawing and... Um, I think, I mean, Mike's going to be on technically, but uh, I'm probably just going to have my head down drawing for a while, but feel free to ask questions anyway. I'm going to put up a little thing that says that. So there's that. But um, yeah, so I guess uh, let's draw. The first character I'm drawing is somebody I found on TikTok named Roos or Russ, but I, I like this character, they seem like a friendly person, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. So, oh, also my cat says hello. Yes, he's come to help as well. So I guess let's get drawn, shall we? This is going to end up being a friendly fire attack, and uh, oh no, oh well, I guess. Um, sometimes you just gotta do that. I know it's not worth as many points, but I kind of don't care either, because it's just fun. So we're going to do it anyway. Um, just getting my little reference layer set up. And we'll go from there.
is kind of roughing this out first. I think he's just gonna be dancing here because seems like a delightful fellow. So I don't know. Sounds like fun. So that's what I'm gonna draw. <laughs> Some knees. I don't know. Um just trying to make sure everything fits here first. The big guy. He's kind of like tapping his toes. I don't know what's going on here. I should know. I'm the one who's drawing it, but. Alright. Got a big tail. So. Um, I don't know if I like the way this is. I'm going to move it. Now it makes more sense to me, so that's that's what I'm doing. Alright. Got some big old hands. Very muscly. Let's just draw that in. his ears. They're very floppy looking. I get the impression that they're kind of regularly like floppy in this particular way based on this part of the reference. I don't know. I'm just gonna run with it. I'm sure it's fine. toothy. Makes sense because he's a dragon. Alright. That's not bad. Alright, so he's got like overalls, kinda. So I'll just sketch that in. So I think that's enough to, to get going on. Probably. I think I got this right. Let me see. Well, he's got some little edge to his face here. And he's got like a little fuzz and claws on his hands. Should probably make note of that. Okay. Alright, so that's pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sample out some of these colors. Uh, can I? I could just make a new palette, but you know what? Maybe I'm going to do that. Because uh, that'll be easier. 
to hey, no no. Let me rename it. Art fight. Because I just use it for sampling references and stuff. Um so we're gonna do that. Very nicely. Uh oh, hello, come on. No. We're done. We're we're just uh, Sometimes procreate has a moment and doesn't do what I want, but I think that's more uh, me and my iPad than procreate. Either way, all right, so there's the base colors kind of for everything. Um, okay, so gonna hide that. Uh, I might center this a little bit more. Maybe make it a tiny bit smaller. Yeah. And by center I mean not centered, but whatever. Um gonna lighten that up so I can draw on top of it. And I'm gonna try and pick a background color. Bruce here is kind of like orangey, peachy. So I think background wise, I'm going to go for like a lavender purple kind of color. Yeah, I think that'll be kind of fun. Um, all right, so real outlines. I've been playing around with doing like a, a linear burn layer for outlines. Does it do anything for me? I don't know. I'm just like messing around. Um, let's see. Uh, we're gonna see how it goes anyway. Oh, that's a giant brush. We need something smaller than that. Maybe not that small. Again, picky. Oh well. Time to knuckle down and do some lines, I guess. This is a brush that I found in a free brush pack. And it's kind of fun because it has kind of a markery feel. I don't know. It's kind of nice. Overalls in. If I could land that curve right for some reason. Uh, some days my hands just don't want to work with me.
Alright. So. How's that look? Yeah, that looks pretty correct, I would say, so far. Okay. Um, it's not exactly how I would normally approach this sort of thing, but I've been using Art Fight as kind of like an opportunity to experiment with different methods for like coloring and other stuff that I normally do in a very kind of uh, methodical way. And uh, I tend not to break out of that as much as I should, but now I'm trying, so hey, can't argue with that. All right. Um, So he looks like he's kind of fuzzy based on the uh, reference, which is fine by me. It's kind of fun to draw in little fuzzy bits. And I already have a habit of that from uh, comic stuff, so it works out well for everyone involved. <laughs> Okay, big chompy teeth. Yeah. Alright, so, that eraser out. Fix this edge up a little bit. Give him some fuzz. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming along. He's got like big flappy dragon ears. He is a dragon. It's gonna work the way I want it to, but I'm just pausing for a moment to uh, potentially set up my. Uh, I got this new little tripod thing for my phone, but I thought it might be fun to try and record from like a third person perspective. And do like trendy TikTok things because people are like into that now. I don't know what I'm doing here. See if this works or if it's gonna tip over because my phone is heavy. Oh no, it is definitely not gonna like that. Hmm, I guess I can't do that. Man, I wanted to though. Maybe if I change the angle. Why is everything gotta be so hard? Is this turn? You're just listening to me like. I don't know what I'm doing here. But we're gonna find out. Oh, it's not heavy enough. Like, it needs to stick to the desk, but I don't want to damage the desk that I'm using. It's not actually mine. Hold up a minute. <laughs> I'm sure this is the uh, probably least interesting stream you've ever popped in on, but... Okay, hold on. Just gonna go for it. 
see if this works. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Disaster. All right, all right, hold on. Not now. Yikes, this is definitely uh, something. Ah! I swear, I'll get it together. Somehow. Come on now. I should have planned this before I got started, but what is planning anyway? It's not working as well as I hoped. Oh man. My phone is so darn heavy that it's like indecisive about staying upright. Now it's not really positioned right. Man! Alright, I'm sorry this is so boring. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. That's a little better, I guess. Let's do some video, because I don't know, people like this kind of thing. The question now is, can I see around my phone to keep drawing? We're gonna have to... But I'm sure it's fine. There's an annoying hair stuck on my drawing glove. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Drawing for real. That was like a tragedy. Alright, so he's got like big chonky hands. With claws on them. Oh! Hey, hammy dude! <laughs> I only just noticed that you're here. So exciting. Glad you're glad you're here. <laughs> As I'm like having disasters in the background. Glad you can make it. I give up. I was trying to record cool video and it's not working, so I'll deal with that later. Anyway, back to what I'm actually working on. <laughs> oh, that's okay. It's, it's a lot to dig into a new comic. I know how that goes, but um... Yeah, thanks for, like, stopping in and at least checking out my stuff. I appreciate that a lot. Um, it's like a third party thing, and, um, you have to add it on, like, there's some setup, but, like, I know that I use captions all the time when I'm watching video, and so I figured people would appreciate it, so I, I set that up. Um, the website for it, if you're interested, is, I will paste it in chat, <laughs> but it's not hard to set up. So, if you do any streaming, it's kind of worth it. Um, but that's the, uh, the thing. But 
yeah, I uh, I need to post more art on Twitter. Um, I'm never sure, like, if I should post whole comic pages or what. It would probably get more people interested. But I feel like I just want them to, like, go to where my comic actually is and look at it. I don't know. I should post more in general. Um, they are the ones, uh, my characters, this is someone else's character, um, for Art Fight, it's this guy, but, um, my characters are, like, a genetically engineered species, um, they're, like, from a, a bunch of combined animal human DNA, um, it gets into it in the story, but, um, that's the, the basic version. <laughs> Thanks. I eventually want to make a more complex one, but um, it's kind of just built from like a bunch of GIFs. Like it took a while to make, but I was more interested in getting something that worked quickly. <laughs> Thanks, I hope you enjoy it. I appreciate you checking it out. Now my least favorite part is making sure the hands look the same size. Ugh. I always goop this up. Just to like, keep zooming out. Yeah, it's probably close enough. Good enough. Thanks. I, I, it took me a while to get like comfortable with talking on stream because I feel weird listening to myself talk so much. I am a terrible introvert, so this has been kind of a, a learning experience in a good way. Um, but <laughs> that's kind of funny. But thank you. Yeah, I think, I think that's like an art people thing a lot of the time. We're just all introverts sitting in our own corners and drawing things. And I'm okay with it. <laughs> But it's kind of fun, like, um, I mean, it's been a while since, like, the pandemic started, but I used to really like, um, going to conventions and stuff, um, I don't know, talking about, like, art and comics gets me pretty excited, so this is kind of like that. So I keep trying to think of it that way, <laughs> which is motivational. But it's also just fun. It's like human contact without human contact. I don't know.
Yeah, that's cool. I don't mind at all. I have not gotten into using Toy House, but I know a lot of people do. I haven't really looked at it. Um, it really depends on what I'm streaming and when, and I've been trying to figure that out. Like, I have decent luck on, like, I play Caves of Cud, like, once or twice a week, um, and it kind of has, a, like, a niche audience, so I get a bunch of people for that sometimes. And it seems like if I'm drawing and it's more around this time of day, I tend to average around somewhere between like three and five people. But it varies a lot and I'm trying to figure out what the what the trick is. Like Um I don't know. It's it's slow, but I'm definitely like growing my channel for sure, which is exciting. Like Um it was, you know, much less than this like a month ago, so hey, you know, I'm not complaining, but it's definitely a, a process, for sure. But, yeah, like, art stuff, it, it depends, like, I think it just started running an, an ad, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait a minute before I keep talking, unless, uh, I don't know. I can't tell if it's done yet. I'm new to this. Um, I'm not posting chat. <laughs> Oh, okay. Good. Uh, <laughs> I'm never sure when it's like doing ads or what. But yeah, this is Art Fight. Um, this is somebody that I found on TikTok. And um, we've kind of been like chit-chatting back and forth. This is technically a friendly fire because we're both on the same team. But, you know, I, I don't care. <laughs> um... I, I'll draw anybody. It's just fun. I don't know. And now... Oh, okay. Good. iPad's acting funny, but that's fine. I've just been using Art Fight as an excuse to, like, do things I wouldn't normally do. In some instances, or try, like, new coloring ideas and stuff. Because that way, 
nobody's out any money if it's a commission and they don't like it and it's all just for fun anyway so it works out Yeah, it's tricky to divide your time. Like, I, I've been wanting to do Art Fight for like a couple of years, and I am definitely behind on my own comic stuff, but I feel like I've wanted to do this for a while, and I decided I'm just, just gonna do it, and I will get to my comic. That's my next plan for later today. I don't know if I'm gonna stream it or not, but it's it's good as an artist to keep trying new things and this is a good way to do it so yeah doing fan art and um drawing other people's designs is it's interesting because it makes you think about how they came up with it and how they work it's just good in general <laughs> And it's fun because it makes people happy. That's I'm finding half the fun of Art Fight is just sending people art and watching their reaction. It's like Christmas. <laughs> Alright, what am I missing? Am I missing anything? I don't think so. Uh... You could use some more fuzz here and there. Let's just do that. Alright, uh, yeah, Andy needs more actual me on this side. There, that looks better. All right, cool. Now, I can actually start coloring. So exciting. Um, let's see. This brush could be bigger.
Uh, I am from the western part of New York, and it's a very hot day <laughs> today. Um, at least as far as weather here goes. So it's a good day to stay inside and draw, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's not a very exciting part of the world, but... doing this the slow way but that's okay um Almost there. Then the fun part can start. <laughs> Ugh.
Okay, now we can fill that in. Success. All right, um, just gonna clean up some edges maybe. It's probably fine though. I can deal with that later. That's not that important. Ugh, okay. Um, alpha lock. And then we can add these other colors in. Gotta get this reference up on my other screen. Okay, so I can see he's got like yellow on part of his chin and front but it stops right about here so that makes life easier um Kind of goes up the side a little bit, I think. Kind of guessing a little bit, but that's okay. his jaw there okay can I fill that or is it gonna no well maybe sometimes it likes to try and do its own thing it's gonna behave today that's good I don't. I, I, I'm not terribly musical. And it makes me feel really self-conscious. Um, okay. Um, so in this case, I filled it with orange because that's kind of the primary color that um this character is and then this is pretty common in most art programs but i'm using procreate right now so um what i'm doing to kind of do like flat colors before i do any of the shading or other stuff um i made like the big big area filled it in with orange and then set it to alpha lock um which means that like you can color on this layer and it won't go outside of the orange area like that um so it's easy for getting the basic colors down um the next thing i'm gonna do is make layers on top of this that are gonna use um clipping masks which are the most useful thing in the world um which kind of does a similar thing, but it's just on a separate layer, so you can do more effects than you would if you were doing it all on the same layer. If that makes any sense, it's kind of confusing to explain it, but like when you try it, it 
makes more sense. It took me a bit to learn it, but like I can't work without that kind of stuff now, so it's pretty useful. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, like, there's so many things you can do, and there's so many different ways to kind of accomplish the same effect. It's just kind of preference, but... That's how I do it. Um, I draw comics in Clip Studio, because there's more comic-specific tools in there. Um, but it's a similar process over there, too. I do kind of the same thing. But Procreate, I just think, is fun for doing, like, single illustrations, because it sort of, kind of behaves more like real media a little bit. And it's more minimal, so it's kind of like a sketchbook experience or something. I don't know. It's just fun. See if this works. Yeah, good. Except it missed the edges always. <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely a learning process. Like like things are always getting better somehow. Software wise, there's just new things you can do all the time. And there's so many programs now. And a lot of them are really, really good. So it's... It's interesting, because I've been making digital art for, like, forever. And, um... It's been interesting watching, like... How it becomes more popular and accessible. To more people. Which is a good thing. I think. Okay, um... Probably should color his teeth in. So I need These claws are kind of a uh, what color are they? So the reference black. Oh, all right. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. I can do something with that. Um. Let's do like a dark purple. Yeah, there's a lot more options than there used to be, as far as tablets go, and a lot of them are really good. Um, I used a, like an ancient Wacom tablet for years and years and years, um, and then uh, switched to a... I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I think it's Huion. Um, it's like H-U-I-O-N, and um, used that for a long time. And then finally, I don't know, this was like 2017, I think, I got 
um, what I'm using now, which is an iPad Pro. So it's not like the newest new thing, but it's definitely, I think, made the process a lot easier. Um, but yeah, I haven't used anything that's like Android, but I've heard good things about like the Galaxy Notes and stuff. Or I, I don't know that much about like the different models, but I've heard of a lot of people using them, so. Yeah. I mean, if it works, then, you know, why change anything? That's how I feel. I have a tendency to like use a computer until it is just incapable of doing anything anymore. Like, why? Why spend the money? I don't know. Mm, yeah, that's the only trick, is um, being able to work at the right canvas size. Um, a lot of the stuff I make, like comics specifically, like um, I plan out from the beginning expecting like I might print this someday, so you have to basically make the file from the start at the right resolution, or you run into problems later. Um, so, like, where I'm at now, it's like... They're kind of huge files, but... Just enough that, like, my iPad can handle it. My computer couldn't handle it. So I ended up having to upgrade. Um, but... I'm in a good spot now, so that's good. But that that seems to be the killer, is like high-resolution, big files. But if you're not printing anything, then it doesn't really matter, so... Cool. All right, so I think that's everything base colors wise. All right, so now I'm adding a new layer and I'm making it a clipping mask so it won't draw outside of any of this flat colored area. But now I can use like a multiply layer and uh, let's see. Um, no, I think I'm just gonna keep this purple for shadows, but um, what I've been playing around with is doing like textured shadows. Oh, that's way too big. Hold on. <laughs> Shrink that down. And then kind of carving it out. Like it looks like a mess for now, but it won't stay that way. So then I end up masking this layer, and I have a kind of sketchy brush. Oh, hello. Hey, thank you for the follow. Hey, Skunk Dalmatian. Welcome. Oh, hydrate. Okay. You know what? You've caught me with no water on me. So now I have to physically get up and go get water. So, uh, hold on. I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, though. That's actually pretty important. 
Hang on. Okay, I'm back and I have water, which I am now drinking. I have no good way of showing that, but it's happening, so. Apologies if you heard that. Um, <laughs> thank you for the reminder. This was kind of an unplanned stream. So, uh, usually I get my stuff ready beforehand, and today I didn't. I'm never sure, like, I always feel bad. I try and mute it when I'm, like, drinking something, but... That's, that's the other thing, is I feel, like, horrified, like, being on a microphone, because what if I make a weird noise by accident, and I don't realize it? But again, like... <laughs> I guess streaming, or part of it, is, like, getting over weird anxiety <laughs> like that. Ugh. That's my life now. Thanks, yeah. I was going for something different, and uh, it was kind of a pain to figure out how to make that happen, but I'm pretty happy with the effect. Like, I want to make a more proper, like, VTuber avatar thing, and that's one of the only things holding me back, is I'm not sure how to replicate that effect without the method that I'm doing now, so... Maybe someday, but... <laughs> mm. Yeah. I like the Vroid one too, but the problem is, like, the setup I have right now, I don't have a good way of putting the camera in a spot where it won't look like my neck is broken all the time because it likes to do that. <laughs> but I do like that one. It's, like, it's a cool thing, but... I need, like, a camera that isn't built into my laptop, but maybe someday I can do that. So I can move it around. I don't know. It also kind of tends to use more memory, which can be a pain with streaming.
Oh no. My pencil's running out of balance. No! Another thing I didn't check before I got started. I just wanted to get on and draw, like, you know. Yeah, Undertale. I love Undertale. And conveniently, a lot of the music or, like, covers people have done are safe to put on stream, so that works out. It's got such a good soundtrack. started this thinking it was going to be a really quick and simple drawing, but now I've gotten sucked into it, and it's just... Now I'm committed. Now I have to finish it. <laughs> oh well. I'm having fun, so... That's a good enough reason. Yeah, that's the thing with Undertale. There's so many, like, AU things that people make, and there's so much cool stuff out there. It's kind of neat.
Yep, that's, that is the price of commitment. Like, now I have to finish this. And it's even worse because if it was for myself, I could just quit. But it's for Art Fight and it's for someone else. So now I have to. I mean, I could just quit, but what what's the fun in that? Like... Can't do it. Have to finish. Okay. Alright, uh... Oh, I've just made this hard on myself for no reason. Um... Okay, hang on. I need... This? Is that right? Did I do... No, I did it backwards. That's fine. I masked this out kind of too early before I finished all these details, and now it looks like I'm doing nothing, but... Oh, come on. Oh, because I've got the wrong thing selected. It's one of those days. Alright, so... Switch back to the mask layer, and yes, this is what I want. There we go. There. That's better. Confusing myself here. Doing a good job. It's fine. Okay, so that's good enough for what it is for now. So we're going to do some highlights. Um, I'm going to try card light layer. I don't know if that's going to do what I want, 
but let's try green. I don't know. See if that does anything fun. Um, right now I am drawing a character for someone else, um, for this thing called Art Fight, where people, like, here's the reference kind of behind everything here, um, people upload characters and you get split into two teams and when you, you can pick other people's characters to draw and they're worth a certain amount of points for your team and it's it's kind of like the rules are like just tacked on nonsense but it's just fun like um just like an art trading game kind of thing this is the first year i've done it but um so i'm drawing this character for someone else i guess he's like a, a dragony sort of character So it's for that. Um, it's pretty fun though. I've done a handful so far when I have time. It goes on through like all of July and I've been wanting to do it for a couple of years but um, just never quite was able to make the time to do it. But now I am, so hey, it's good. It's a good excuse to try new things. Yeah, the rules make it sound like kind of confusing and complicated, but it's really not. Um, it's just for fun. But, um, the rest of the time, I do, like, web comics and stuff, um, which I could throw in chat, because why not? Anyway, that's, that's the stuff I usually do. This is just for fun, but I figured it would be fun to pop on stream and do it, because why not? Uh... Yeah, this is actually a friendly fire attack, <laughs> which is now the second one that I've done. So it's worth like almost nothing in points, but I kind of don't care because I don't really care about the points. I'm just having fun like drawing stuff for people I'm like acquaintances with. Which I guess I could do any time of year, but it's more fun this way. Okay, um, hmm. Yeah, 
this might be close to done. I don't know. I'm just making this up as I go. Um, let's make some kind of background-ish thing. Whoa, that is way too big. Yikes. And here comes the part where, like, I know nothing about music, so I'm just gonna draw some music notes and they're gonna be totally wrong. And I'm sorry to everyone on the planet who actually understands music, but... This is... this is the best I can do. It's just background stuff. It, it, it doesn't matter that much, I hope. <laughs> I don't know. People get picky. But they're just gonna have to deal with it. Um... I don't hate it. Um, hmm. I want to try something that might not work. That didn't work the way I wanted. Um, mm -hmm. No. No, I'm just going to leave that the way it is. Anyway, I think this is pretty much done, so I am gonna sign it and all that good stuff. Uh, let's see, this is... Or... Oh, 
I gotta look up this person's name. Darn it. Uh, Baffledgers. Alright, so, I think that's that for now, um, I think I'm gonna call it done here, cause, I don't know, I need a break. <laughs> this took longer than I planned, so, uh, I don't know. Um, anyway, let's see, swap over here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. yes, okay. So, I'm gonna call this stream done for now because my pencil's about to run out of battery anyway. Um, but thanks for stopping in and watching. Um, I will probably have my schedule for the week up either later today or tomorrow, but I'm definitely planning on doing more streams this week. Um, I'm probably going to move times around a bit because I did some polling and earlier in the day seems to be better. So if I can fit it in early in the day, I'm going to. And I will try and put that like on my Twitch schedule. Or, you know, anywhere I can post it. So you know that that's going to happen. But, um, yeah. Anyway, that's all I've got for now. Uh, this was fun. I'm going to get this posted. And I hope they like it, because I have fun drawing it. So, I hope you have an excellent rest of your day. I'm going to try not to melt, because it's very hot. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for shopping in.